What about the two vines being grafted together? What? Oh, I love that. Get me going on Romans 11. And we are grafted in. And in Romans 11, it says that the root is holy. Now, all of those boys and girls on the day of Pentecost, they were Jewish boys and girls. They were the remnant of Israel. Now, were we grafted in to believing Israel and that holy root, or were we grafted in to a fleshly genetic Christ rejecting Israel? And that's really a no-brainer, isn't it? Right. Yeah, and that's what it says. And you see, we're still the Israel of God. We're grafted in by faith. And it says that uh, if we don't abide in faith, we can be grafted right out. You see, it's the Israel of God. And we're grafted into believing Israel. You see, the first covenant was with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. The new covenant is with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. There's not an old covenant with Israel, a new covenant with the church. That is just such a porky. There's no text for that, none at all. But the Bible says what it says, and it's exciting to know that God doesn't change. God doesn't change. And this is all just basic understanding, and it it just shows us when we really meditate and understand the immutability of God, that so many of the doctrines that are so popular, they're preaching a changing God. They're not preaching the immutable God, but a changing one. Hmm. 